Hey, what's up guys, it's Jonathan, and last week I got to go hands-on with the Moto Z2 Force at the press conference release party. Met up with a few people, met some new people, chill with some people I already knew, just did my thing, overall had a great time. But most importantly, I got some hands-on time and got to see the Z2 Force before it actually came out. And with that being said, I wanted to do a video on five reasons why you might want to consider the Z2 Force as your next device, because actually, it's a really good phone. Reason number one has got to go to durability. The Moto Z2 Force features a shatterproof display, so if you drop your phone from a reasonable height, it's not gonna spider web or anything like that. It might chip, it's definitely going to scratch because it's very sustainable to scratching, so I suggest picking up a tempered glass screen protector of some sort, but in terms of just spider web in your display, probably not gonna happen. Plus they stated the internals are coated with a nano coating giving you some water resistant properties. They didn't go into an IP rating, which kind of concerns me, but for the occasional drop, sprinkle or splash, you should be just fine. Reason number two has got to go to the mods. Now I understand the mods aren't new, but it's still like the best modular smartphone on the market. And they did release a couple new mods, including a 360 degree camera, which captures 4K and 360. And all you have to do is a snap it on the back and you can use a native camera app. It's pretty cool. They also unveil a battery pack that just snaps right onto the back. It quickly charges your phone and gives you some extra battery life, which is always a good thing. Plus they have a new JBL speaker, which sounds really, really good. Reason number three has got to be the display. The display has been improved. It's a quad HD AMOLED panel and it's really nice to look at. Sharpness levels are insane. The contrast levels are insane. It gets those deep, dark, inky blacks. And if you like that oversaturated look, this is the display to get. Now, one thing to note is if you're doing some photo editing or some, I guess, video editing, if you do that on your phone, it's gonna switch to like an sRGB mode to give you more accurate colors. So that way you can have a more realistic representation of what it is you're working on. You can also go into the settings if you want to enable this feature all the time, but just keep in mind, it really, really desaturates everything and it just doesn't look as pleasant to the eyes. Reason number four is gonna to go to software. Motorola has been really good in the past to give you like a stock version of Android mixed in with a few features that really do help the user experience. And that continues with this phone. In fact, they actually perfected some of the features they offer and they function really, really good. This includes things like the chopping to launch the flashlight or the wrist gesture to launch the camera or things like the active display that we just have really grown to appreciate over the years. Plus, I don't know of another phone that actually ships with something that resembles the Pixel Launcher. It works and functions beautifully. Reason number five is gonna to go to the cameras. The cameras have been improved on the Moto Z2 Force quite a bit. On the backside, you now have two 12 megapixel cameras, both at f2.0. One has a monochrome sensor while the other is more traditional, but they do capture like a depth effect. So you can get that portrait mode game on that you can get with the iPhone now on the Moto Z2 Force. It's similar to the One Plus, I guess I would say, but I think that in some ways the Z2 Force is a little bit better. It just needs a software update to actually adjust the settings a little bit more. On the front, you have a five megapixel shooter with a front facing flash. Not really new here, but they've updated the sensor and it does capture pretty good selfies, I gotta say. Again, with the wide angle aspect, both front and back cameras are pretty wide, a little bit wider than normal traditional smartphone cameras, but still not marketed as wide angle. Overall, the cameras are great and definitely a good reason to pick up this phone if you're in the market for it. All right, guys, that was five reasons why you should consider the Moto Z2 Force as your next phone. Is the phone perfect? No, but if you're a Moto fanboy and you love that stock vanilla version of Android mixed in with a few really beneficial features, this phone might be for you and you should definitely at least take a peep at it. However, I do think $720 is a bit much to ask for this phone and the mods are very expensive, which I'll include all that in further videos. If you guys enjoyed this one, drop it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or hit me up on social as I have a more streamlined direct line of communication that way and make sure you turn on notifications. Hit that little bell down below so you can be alerted whenever a new video drops. And of course, I'll talk to you in the next one. Be easy.